Before Takeoff Checklist When the pilot is holding short of the departure runway, they conduct the Before Takeoff Checklist to ensure their aircraft is ready for departure. This ensures that the aircraft is properly configured for the appropriate takeoff and that the engine is producing the proper power necessary for takeoff. Note, while conducting the before takeoff checklist, the pilot must reference their checklists to confirm all items have been checked off before takeoff. At first, pilots will rely on the checklist to guide their check, but with experience, pilots begin doing the required pre-flight checklist line items and then verifying by reviewing the checklist. The pilot checks that the fuel selector is set to the both position, the elevator trim wheel is set to take off, and that the wing flaps are set accordingly. For a normal takeoff, the flap should be up. For a short field or soft field takeoff, the flap should be set to 10 degrees. The aircraft windows are then closed, the appropriate navigation, strobe, and landing lights are turned on, and the mixture is pushed in all the way to full rich. If the airport of departure has a pressure altitude above 3,000 feet, the pilot should lean the engine to ensure the best performance during takeoff. After the pilot contacts the tower controller and is cleared for takeoff, the pilot taxis onto the runway centerline and smoothly advances the throttle to full power and should check that the engine is producing between 2300 and 2400 RPMs. If the engine is producing less than 2300 RPMs, the pilot should abort their takeoff. As the aircraft rolls down the runway, the pilot should ensure the engine indications are all within the green limits of their gauges and that their airspeed indicator comes alive or begins showing their speed. If all of this happens, the pilot continues with their takeoff. Climb Checklist After taking off, usually above 500 feet above ground level, the pilot then does a climb checklist. This checklist is used to verify that the aircraft is configured for climbing flight and that the appropriate lighting is engaged based on the time of day and weather. The pilot ensures that the flaps are up, the engine indications are within the green limits on their gauges, and the transponder has switched to altitude mode, denoted by the ALT next to the transponder code on the PFD. If the aircraft is above 3,000 feet mean sea level, the pilot should lean the engine for best efficiency and fuel burn, and the landing light is turned off. The pilot should use the appropriate sight picture to climb between 75 and 85 knots indicated airspeed. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.